Hey, what's up? It's Sam from Haas Alert. We're here today installing the HA5 device in a squad car. I'm gonna give you a little bit of information that'll help you to install this thing in your vehicles in about 15 minutes or less. The first thing that you're gonna do when you're doing the installation is gonna be plan out the placement of the device. This thing needs to be in the passenger compartment of the vehicle, somewhere where it's got a clear view of the sky. In this vehicle, we mounted it back here on the back post of the car. You can really put it anywhere, but it needs to have you know, clear view. So you don't want it under a seat or that sort of thing. Electrically speaking, this is pretty basic. On the wiring harness, you'll have three different wires. You'll have a power wire, which is the red one. You'll have a ground wire, which is the black one. And then this white wire is your E-Master trigger. And in the law enforcement world, sometimes there's a sliding switch, sometimes there's a push button, but you wanna tie the white wire into any mode when your emergency warning lights are broadcasting. So anytime the lights are blinking. If you've got the ability to have it come on as like the rear of the car and in the front of the car or different modes, you wanna make sure you find a wire that comes on in all of the modes so that anytime you're showing traffic that you're there, you're also broadcasting safety cloud alerts. So anyway, on this vehicle, I'll show you real quick how we installed it. This is a sound off blueprint system. It's kind of like a multiplex electronic system, um, but this can be one way that vehicles are set up. Other vehicles are set up with relays and switches, but overall the principle remains the same. Power, ground, and switched. On this vehicle, they programmed us a constant power. They programmed us a switched wire that comes on in both the modes, rear and forward and rear. And then we grabbed our ground right here off the bus bar. This piece lives back here in this compartment. So this is just an auxiliary node for them. And then it gets covered, so all the wiring is nice and clean. The device is sitting up here and we've checked it to make sure that that light goes from green to amber when they turn the emergency lights on. Everything else from there is good to go. If you have questions about the installation, please reach out to the Haas Alert team. You can find us online at HaasAlert.com or call our customer service number and we'll be happy to help work through the installation for your fire department or law enforcement agency. Hope you guys have a great day.